In the last video we took a look at combining budgets. In this one we're going to take a look at updating the chart of accounts using Mass Modify. Mass Modify is available on the menu under Cards Financial and in this window we can do various actions to update the chart of accounts. We can copy a range of codes from one area of the chart of accounts to another. We can move a section but we can only move those codes that do not have transactions against them. We can inactivate zero value codes to prevent users from entering transactions into those codes when they shouldn't. We can delete codes which haven't been used, or we can update them by changing the level of posting from series. As an example, I'm going to copy the administration section of the chart of accounts to a new section. So I'm going to pick all codes beginning with 100 to the end of the 100 range. And I'm going to create a new account mask of 800 and this will copy the codes down from the 100 range to the 800 range. I can use the account description from existing accounts or I can choose to take them from the account segments. If choosing the latter option we will be warned that any new segments or segments without descriptions will result in account description with a blank space. That segment description. If I say OK and then modify the system will process through and create the new segment on the chart of accounts based off the 100 range. In this case the codes that have been created have no descriptions because the segments are unnamed but I can go through and give each code a description. If I want to prevent dead error problems from cropping up by people misposting on the general ledger I can go through and inactivate either a range of codes or all accounts and I can choose whether to do zero balance accounts or all accounts. If I leave it at zero balance, when I modify, I'll be asked to confirm and I can then say inactivate. And the system will go through and switch off every code that hasn't been used and doesn't have an outstanding balance against it. Inactivating these codes prevents people from posting values to codes that are no longer in use, so it can be a very easy way of reducing data entry problems. In the next section, we're going to have a look at a few more ways to speed up data entry and reduce entry problems.